Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. Our weather's changing. Here's Mike Collier with the latest. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Collier. We've been tracking showers and storms off and on throughout the day today. Some more storms possible tomorrow morning. And that chance rain will continue on into our Friday afternoon and evening with temperatures upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Temperatures do heat up for the weekend, though, back to the mid to upper 90s to near 100 degrees. 100 on Monday, the slight chance for storms coming in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week with cooler temperatures. A new blood test could help catch breast cancer earlier. Scientists say the targeted digital sequencing test finds that DNA that cancer cells leave behind. A new study found that tumor DNA from all cancer patients using the new test because it's 100 times more sensitive than others. Researchers say other tests only work 50 to 75 percent of the time. Right now, doctors usually only use blood tests on people with advanced cancer. They call it the longest vacation any of us will ever take, but many Americans aren't saving enough money for retirement. Studies show that about 40% of middle class Americans will fall into poverty or near poverty by the time they reach 65. Financial advisors say plan on 8,000 days in retirement. That's nearly 22 years. So you know it's critical to save enough money to live on. They suggest saving 10% or come up with a number of your own and put away as much money as you can afford. The Cherokee Nation is celebrating the opening of the Cherokee National History Museum. It's in the Cherokee National Capitol building, which was built back in 1869. The tribe's legislative, executive and judicial offices were once housed there. Director of Culture Travis Owens told us this museum shares the history and culture of the Cherokee Nation through art and other treasures. Thank you for catching up with Two Works For You. We'll bring you another update here around 915.